So here we've got a new project. First thing we're going to do is just uh, import our import our AR core package. Out of interest, the Hello AR core demo actually does does um, attach all those little Andes to an anchor. Each one is actually a new anchor with an Andy object as a child of that. Um, and they you know, it's interesting out of out of interest. They also attach the Andy objects to the plane. Remember, you like you know you you point, press a point on the plane. It's where it creates that Andy object, and the plane adjusts the y position of the Andy object, but not the x and the z. It was just an interesting solution that that Google came up with of of keeping those objects exactly on the plane, but attached to an anchor rather than the plane itself. Um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so first thing we're gonna do is just uh, create a script. Uh, we're just gonna call it uh, Anchor Manager. Right, and in this script, we're gonna be using AR call. So we just go using. Google AR core and let's see we're not going to need we're not going to need the start function or what we're going to do what we're going to do is we're going to create two objects uh, whenever you hit the screen we'll create two objects one of them will be attached to an anchor the other will be free roaming and we'll see if we can get like a yeah how they move around and we're also going to get we're also going to get uh, we're going to print out we're going to get a get a log whenever, um, whenever the position of the anchor changes in global coordinates, and we'll get how how much it's changing by as well. So we'll just do a public game object. We'll call it our anchored prefab, and we're also going to make a an unanchored prefab. And what else are we going to need? Oh yeah, we're going to need to remember the last position of the anchor and see if it's moved anywhere. So we'll just go vector three, last anchored position. The un yeah, obviously, like the unanchored un unanchored object will never move, uh, but but it, it will move like in in real life. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see it anyway. If that makes any sense at all. <laughs> okay, so we we'll say. If uh, input dot uh, touch count is greater than zero, and input dot touches uh, zero dot uh, phase is equal to touch phase dot uh, began. Out of it, yeah. Out of it, just a quick little tidbit. If we'd only done that that bit, then it will say like, oh, but what if there's no touches? Then touches zero doesn't actually exist. All right, so now we'll say, uh, we'll create, how do we create an anchor? Which we go session dot create anchor. And maybe we want to do it exactly uh, where this, where this anchor management, where this anchor manager, which will be attached to our camera, wherever it is. So, so let's say we wanted to uh, like uh, attach an anchor to, to say this, this point in the world, then we'll hit the, we'll hit, press the button on the phone when we want to create that. So we'll go to go transform dot position, transform dot rotation, and yeah, that's that's all we pass in. Oh and actually we're gonna need a we're gonna need to remember remember our anchor. So we'll just um, we'll just create a create an anchor uh, anchor variable anchor anchor and we're just gonna say anchor equals Great anchor. Okay, now, now, now let's create an object that we're going to make a child of that anchor, so we'll be able to see where the anchor is. Okay, so we'll say game object dot instantiate uh, anchored prefab. Okay, and we're just going to go uh, anchor dot transform. Remember, anchor is a component, so like any component, it's got a transform dot position, and also the anchor's rotation. Rotation. 
might clean this up a bit. Put that down there. Down there. Okay, and also we're going to um, make sure that the anchor is the parent of our game object, which will mean that wherever the anchor moves, the object will move as well. And we just go anchor.transform. Okay, and, and yeah, and now we'll do the same thing with our unanchored object, but not make it a child of the of the anchor. Game object dot instantiate uh, unanchored prefab anchor dot transform dot position anchor dot transform dot rotation and no parent. All right. And what we'll do is we'll set the we'll set the last anchored position to to this uh, to the to the anchor's starting point. Last anchored position equals anchor dot position. You know what? Oh, sorry, anchor dot transform dot position. I'm also going to make one for rotation. I'm not I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure how the rotation changes, but it'll be interesting to see if it does. Uh, so let's just say quaternion. Last anchored rotation. And last anchored rotation equals anchor dot transform dot rotation. All right. Yeah, that's looking good. Now for the next bit, we're just gonna be doing comparisons and, and, and seeing how it's moving. So so remember this is being called every update. So if if the anchor is isn't there, then we'll just get out of the get out of the loop. So we'll say if anchor uh, is equal to null, then we'll return. Otherwise, otherwise, what we're going to do is we'll say uh, if the if the anchor's next position is not equal to the to the last anchored position, then it's changed, and let's print out how, what that distance was. So we can say if uh, anchor dot transform dot position is not equal to last anchored position, then we're gonna we're gonna want to log log uh, the log distance dot distance anchor dot transform dot position and last last anchored position. And then and then and then update update the last anchor position equals anchor dot transform dot position. All right, and now we're going to very quickly do the same for the rotation anchor dot transform. <laughs> Feel free to skip ahead if this is not not of interest. I suppose a really interesting part will be the testing of it. Rotation is not equal to last anchored rotation debug dot log um, we're going to say the quaternion dot uh, angle the angle between two quaternions so quaternion dot angle um, anchor dot transform dot rotation and last anchored rotation and then we're just going to update last anchored rotation equals anchor dot transform dot rotation alrighty now I believe that's everything I feel like there might be something I'm forgetting um, no 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 that, that looks that looks that looks good we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go anyway okay so let's create those let's create those prefabs it's gonna create a cube the only thing I'll do is I'll change their colors, make one green and one red so that we can really see the difference. Okay, we'll make it a little bit smaller, maybe 0 0.05, that's 5 centimeters. 0 0.05 by 0 0.05. Okay, and we're going to call this that anchored prefab. Oops, see daisy, prefab. <laughs> and, and let's create a material as well. Materials. Material. Okay, let's go. Matt uh, anchored, 
and we'll make the anchored one green. Oops. All right. And while we're here, we'll make an unanchored one as well. I'll um, just call it Matt Unanchored. And we'll make this one not red. Let's let's make it let's make it blue. Oh oh no, I better make it red. Red will show that it's like oh doing the the unapproved way of coordinate systems. <laughs> Alright. And now let's just make the unanchored prefab. I'll zoom in a bit. Okay, D. Let's call that the unanchored prefab. And we'll just set the set the colors of them. Anchor prefab. Okay, oh, where is it? Uh, material mesh renderer material. Here we go. Okay, so this is the anchored one, and the unanchored prefab. Go to mesh renderer material is unanchored. Okay, and now we're just going to turn those into prefabs. Create a new prefab folder. Drag them both in there. Delete them from the scene. Oh, and we're going to uh, import that uh, the AR Core device camera just from Google AR Core uh, prefab. Oops, you did. Uh, prefabs AR Core device. We're going to attach our script, our anchor manager, and we're just going to put in those anchored and unanchored prefab. Okay. And we'll go anchored, put that one in there, unanchored, put that one in there. And now we just gotta now we just gotta set up the scene for um, one for AR core. And the other thing is we've got to set it up for um we're just gonna make make sure that we're getting log uh, log messages back to the computer. So we go build settings, uh, switch platform to Android. Okay, we're going to put on this is to make it make it log back to the computer. We're going to put on development build, and also script debugging as well. All right, development build, uh, script debugging. That's it. And then we just go to player settings, multi-threaded rendering off. Okay, we change the package name. And put on the minimum API level to seven. Enable XR settings. AI call supported. Yes. And that is absolutely everything. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, I just want to quickly mention I added these little uh, little strings so that we know we know you know which which part of our our anchor is updating. Uh, to make sure that we're getting uh, our logs coming through just go to connected player android player in the console okay and now if we just go to say some position that we want to attach and a digital object to a place in the physical world you know so we'll say go go to this little top bit here i'll click on a screen and yeah you notice at first they were like in exactly the same position and almost instantly it's starting to notice a little bit of drifting and we're getting an update here okay position change of oh, what is that three uh, 0.3 of a centimeter and an angle change of almost one degree. It's not it's not very much at, at first, but maybe if we like, let's see if I if I move the camera around and then say maybe come back, maybe we'll see uh, more of a jump. There we go. Okay, yeah. So yeah, okay. So now that's what uh, point point six of a centimeter. Yeah, right. Okay. So yeah, I guess yeah, just kind of playing around, seeing seeing what kinds of um, what kinds of changes it makes. I've, I've heard that the biggest thing is like, if we start talking about like in the, in like say walking around the block was an example I've heard of like where that's sort of really significant to be having these anchors. Or like if you were doing, I don't know, maybe maybe in a few different rooms of, of, your, of your house having different stuff is where you really start noticing this drifting. Um, yeah, yeah, so great stuff to have a play around with.